Wellington celebrates its status as a capital. After Auckland, it was in 1865 that Wellington was designated as the capital of New Zealand. And to celebrate a 150th anniversary as it should, the city has organized numerous events and opened the doors to the most prestigious monuments to the public and tourists. The kickoff was given with a performance by New Zealander Dave Dobbin and the Orpheus Choir of Wellington in the heart of the Parliament, a performance accompanied by a simply breathtaking 3D light show. In all, more than 30 national institutions have also opened their doors to visitors and are offering a glimpse at some of the most important treasures of the country. A free bus allows the public to stop at each place, like the National Museum of Te Papa Tongariwa, which also celebrates its 150th anniversary, the National Library, where stories from the past are brought to life in a theatrical performance, St. Paul's Cathedral, where a light show projects the history of old St. Paul, and even the home of the Prime Minister, which for the first time in 20 years has opened its doors to the public for the occasion. On top of celebrating this mythic anniversary, it's also the occasion to visit the capital of New Zealand and all its renowned and appreciated sites. It's possible to learn the art of roasting at the award-winning Mojo Coffee House, to visit the Craft Beer Capital Garage Project, a gas station transformed into a trendy brasserie that won the prestigious World Beer Cup Award this year, or visit the filming sites of the Lord of the Rings. The perfect getaway.